top three challenges for CSPs is how to manage traffic growth, how to break the energy curve, and how to approach net zero carbon emissions. Telecoms to me is, we have such an important role in digitalizing the world and making sure other industries can reduce their CO2 impact. So that's part one of the responsibility the CSPs have. Performance is really in our DNA and we really need it for the traffic growth and the user demands. To do more performance, we need more compute. And more compute normally means more power consumptions. So the challenge here is really, how do we do more with less? They want us to make an impact on their energy OPEX. And in order for us to do that, we need to secure that the radio only consumes power consumption when needed. We want to break the energy curve. Uh, we want to reduce the amount of energy that is needed to drive uh, these mobile networks. We have decreased the size and weight by 50%. We have, for example, one functionality that we call radio deep sleep. And that means that certain radios can be put down to sleep when traffic is low. If you look back a little bit, microwave systems have become about 50 times more energy efficient in the last couple of decades. And Ericsson have been developing microwave products for, for more than 40 years, and we have developed a lot of new product generations. So we are releasing a new product now, which is called the Minolink 6321, which is able to host four microwave carriers in a single unit. But at the same time, we can decrease the power consumption by about 50%. When we started this work way back, I think it was maybe 2015, we did a lot of studies to see you know, how can we further improve the performance of a massive MIMO system. So we have done the basic single-use MIMO, we have done the basic multi-use MIMO, sort of what is the next step in the evolution. The benefit here is that we reduce the overall interference level in the network and by improving the spectral efficiency of the network we can serve the traffic much more time efficiently and then we can go down into sleep mode to conserve energy. We're already at 1 billion users worldwide and we're going towards 5 billions in 2028. We really have a industry challenge of both providing traffic growth and to reduce the energy consumption. It has become obvious that we have to think a bit more aggressively that we should turn things off. And that's not only Ericsson, that's also our CSPs that want this. And I think this is a very interesting discussion we're having uh, as an industry at the moment. How do we achieve this? The way we approach it is to put a lot of the compute inside custom silicon. And with that, we are actually able to optimize both performance, energy, and even size and weight of our products. One uh, key thing is to do them wayless. And one thing is to secure that we have the most efficient technology within the radio as such. That means that we can reduce energy without sacrificing performance.